This is I'm Sark. In this video, we are looking at pathogens and disease. So diseases are caused by a microorganism entering and attacking our body. So some diseases are fairly mild, whereas some can kill us, such as influenza and HIV. So microorganisms which cause disease are known as pathogens. And the most common pathogens are bacteria and viruses. So bacteria are single-celled living organisms that are much smaller than animal and plant cells. So although some bacteria are dangerous and can cause disease, many bacteria are harmless and are used in foods like yogurt and cheese and to treat sewage. But once in our body, they can reproduce rapidly and they cause disease by damaging your cells and also producing toxins. So viruses are even smaller than bacteria and they can cause disease in any living organism. So once in our body, they take over our cells. And in our cells, they replicate themselves rapidly and produce many copies of themselves. So the cell will then burst, which releases all the new viruses. And this cell damage is what makes us feel ill. So now we just need to look at how can disease spread, as there are many different ways that diseases can spread. And the first one is droplet infection. As when you cough, sneeze or talk, you expel droplets of pathogens from your breathing system. So other people can then breathe in these droplets and that's what would make them ill. There is also direct contact as some diseases are spread by direct contact of the skin and that's like STDs which are sexually transmitted diseases. There's also contaminated food and drink. Now eating raw and undercooked food can let large numbers of microorganisms into our gut and this leads to diseases like diarrhea and salmonellosis. There's also through a break in the skin as pathogens can enter your body through cuts and scratches and this can include illnesses such as hepatitis. So thanks for watching this video and see you soon. Bye.